Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little demonstration on values. Values are hugely important in painting, in fact I think they are the most important aspect of creating realistic looking animals, wildlife, subjects, you name it. Uh, you can mess up the texture, you can mess up the colour, but your values are what brings your subjects to life. So I'm going to demonstrate really basic paintings here. I'm using the same image three different times, this lioness painting. And I'm going to show you how the lighting uh, affects this lioness differently depending on the direction that it's coming in. So let's say our lighting is coming from the top right corner of our image here. So we have to start with our darkest layers and map out the shadows. And this is typically what I do in all of my paintings. I start dark and then I work my way up light. Now this also depends on the kinds of medium you're using. I use acrylics, you might be using oils. Uh, with acrylics and oils and thicker paints that you can layer, most people tend to start out with their darks. It's perfectly fine if you do it the other way around, it's not a big deal. But I'm starting to think, how is the lighting affecting this lioness? What parts of her face are going to be shadow versus what parts of her face or body are going to be light? So obviously underneath that mouth, the muzzle, uh, on the left side of her face is going to be primarily dark. You want to think about how her body curves and how you know those exercises where they give you a ball to practice your shading skills? You know, you need to think how does the curvature affect the light? It's going to gradient uh, around that curve rather than just stop hard in a hard line. So you want to keep things soft and then just mapping out where the edges of her face are, how the light is going to be affected. Um, for example, her ears, um, they are going to be quite dark because obviously those are curved away um, from the light and so you're not going to see the details in the ears. Next I'm moving to a mid-tone and I'm pretty much using the mid-tone to cover the rest of the white patches on the face and body here. This is going to give me a good base to just work with. Uh, Mid-tones are not your darkest and they are not your lightest layer. So I'm just using that to fill in uh, all the areas where the light is not hitting. And I'm leaving a little bit of light. I'm leaving a little bit of space on the face for the really, really light parts. Because again, that light is coming from that top right hand side. So you want to really think, how is that going to be affecting her face? For these demonstrations, I'm not worried about the eyes or the nose, and I'm not worried about getting it perfect. It's just a demo for you to see how lighting works and how it's affecting her body. I'm using a rake brush here just to smooth things over, give it a little bit more of a fur texture, uh, just so you can see how I'm softening the light into each other and those different layers and colors as well. And I'm not using any particular reference here, I'm just kind of going for it. But this is the first face, and you can see the light is coming mostly from the right side of her body. And I'm using my most brightest whites to really accentuate the highlights, give a little bit of texture as well to this. Uh, normally I'd work in several layers, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm only doing a few layers here just to really showcase the value layer of my painting. Moving on to our second face, this is the exact same lioness face, but this time the light is coming up from the bottom left corner of her face. So this time we have to think about how the lighting is going to be affected in regards to the bottom right corner versus the top. Again, really thinking about that curvature of her face, how her body, uh, the folds, the curves, how they're going to um, really fit into this story we're trying to tell. This is something I see a lot of new artists struggling with, and it's also really crucial to kind of master this because it is such an important layer of your paintings to really figure out your lighting. Because like I said, you can screw up everything else but getting those values and those lighting areas right is really, really crucial. Mm -hmm. 
So because the light is coming from that bottom left, we're going to be concentrating our shadows mostly to the right side of the body. In regards to how the body curves, most faces, the cheekbones, the nose bridge, the mouth area, there's going to be areas that are going to stick out and kind of be highlighted regardless because of that, the way their face is uh, shaped. And using that mid-tone again to fill in. Mid-tones I like to use to give the colour that's closer to, to what the colour of that animal is. And also it's just a good filler uh, whilst you're getting your values right. And then going in with the highlighted areas. Whenever I do a highlighted layer, I'm not using pure white. I'm using sort of a very dulled down brownie white here. Uh, or depending on what colour of the animal you're working with. And then smoothing it over with a rake brush. You want to save your darkest, blackest shadows for the deepest areas on your animals or your subjects. And your brightest, clearest whites for your brightest highlights, really. This lioness face I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to have the light coming from behind her. So she's going to be kind of backlit and backlighting can be tricky to do because a lot of her face is going to be quite dark uh, and obviously her edges are going to be quite bright because she is uh, backlit with the light coming from behind. So mapping out my really, really dark stuff first and then uh, moving on to the mid-tones. And again, the majority of this face is going to have the darks and those mid-tones, and only a few areas are gonna have those bright highlights. And I will keep it smooth and blended, but I'm really focusing on just keeping the center of that face pretty dark. And of course, this all depends on how the direction uh, of that light is affecting it. If the light uh, behind her face is slightly risen up, as I would have it in this particular image, then certain features that stick out more, like the cheekbones, like the bridge of the nose, are going to catch that light source and they're going to glow a little more than any other areas on the face. And going in with the mid-tones there, and pretty much just filling in the rest of the face with that. And you'll see I'm leaving the very edges of her almost white here and going in with just a little bit of that brighter colour. So along her forehead, because I have the light slightly risen up but still behind her, I'm also uh, just covering the edge of the bottom area of the neck just because she would typically have a body there. And then blending it and softening it together with my rake brush again, just using the paint that's on the canvas, not putting anything else on. Uh, a lot of new students of mine tend to put more and more paint on thinking they need to keep adding more and really you just need to use what's there. And then I'm going in with some darker stuff, deepening up the shadows again, really getting it uh, nice and dark as it would be if it was backlit with the light coming from behind. So these are really just some quick demonstrations showcasing how lighting is such a crucial part of your painting process. It really is. You can worry about the texture after, you can color correct with glaze, it doesn't matter. Values are the most crucial part of all your painting processes because it really makes things pop out and it makes things look a whole lot more uh, realistic and just like you can kind of reach out and touch them. So I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration here. Let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. It was kind of a quick one, but it was just showcasing, I think, one of the most important aspects of the painting process, which in my opinion is the value layer or lights and shadows. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and I will catch you all next time. looking to learn how to paint or improve your art skills, then head over to the Intuitive Artist Academy for courses and workshops that will guide you through your own painting journey. 
I will teach you the techniques you need to create your own masterpiece and works of art that you are proud of. They're fun, easy to follow, and will leave you feeling inspired and ready to tackle your next big painting.